So, right now I'm going to show you how to sidechain in FL Studio using Fruity Peak Controller. It's a, it's a good plugin, I use it all the time. What we're going to do is sidechain a bass to a kick in this tutorial. Uh, we're going to sidechain using the fader. Right, so here I've got a 3 time oscillator uh, 808 bass that I've made. Just a quick one and a kick underneath. And all the notes are in the same position. So, what we're going to do... Oh, we don't need these. Cool. Right. So, what we're going to do is... Uh, to sidechain the bass right here to the kick underneath it uh, is we're going to put a fruity peak controller on the first insert on the kick channel there we go and over here yeah cool we got a bunch of controls to uh, control the sidechain so to link the fader that you want right click on it go to link to controller and set the internal controller to peak control peak Put the uh, mapping on inverted. You want to do that because that makes sure that when the kick signal rises, the bass signal falls. Accept that. Now I'll just play around. You can uh, go to your peak controller on your kick channel and you can play with the bass volume, peak amount, and decay settings. For Decay is how fast you want it to return to its bass position. And when you're happy with that, you can unmute it down here and bring the kick back in. So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, and if you want to unlink the controller, you can simply go back to the fader that you linked it to, go back on it, and click None. And then accept that. And then, there you go, back to square one.